My name is Casey Fraser, and I am so happy to introduce you to my sport of canoe kayak. I first started kayaking when I was 14 years old. Now I represent Canada at international competitions and have made friends from all over the world. By the end of this video, you will learn a bit more about the history of the sport, learn the fundamentals of the sport, and try three different variations to challenge yourself and your classmates. The story of canoeing begins in Switzerland. In times before there were roads, rivers and lakes were the way to travel long distances. First Nations people around the world used canoes and kayaks to travel, hunt, fish, and explore. Although canoe and kayak races had been happening for many decades, it wasn't until the 1936 Berlin Olympic Games that canoe kayak made its debut as a full medal sport. There are 16 paddling events at the Olympic Games. Both canoeing and kayaking have two disciplines, sprint and slalom. I compete in the sprint event K2 and K4. Did you know that being active teaches you important life skills like leadership and teamwork? Let's get started. The first activity is the desk and floor kayak and doesn't require any equipment. The activity is completed individually. Sit up straight at your desk with your feet lifted off the floor. Extend your arms out in front of you and grasp your hands at chin level. Keeping your arms over the top of your desk and your hands at chin level, make big figure eights with your hands. The outsides of your eights should stretch to the edge of your desk on both sides. Do 10 figure eights in each direction. Take a 30 second break and repeat this five to 10 times. Make it harder by making much bigger figure eights. Dip your hands below the edge of your desk and up over your head. The second activity is called the balance challenge and doesn't require any equipment. Stand on your left leg and extend your arms and right leg outwards for balance. Remain as tall as possible with a proud chest. Maintain your balance and try to lean as far forward as possible. Now, without touching your right foot to the ground, try to touch the ground with your right hand and then return to your standing position. To complete this challenge, do the same on your other leg. The third activity is called the canoe slalom course. To play this game, you'll need 20 pylons, eight bean bags, two scooter boards per group, two paddles per group, and one stopwatch. Game is played in groups of three to four. Set up pylons to make a slalom canoe course. Use two pylons to create gates for paddlers to navigate through. Identify some gates as upstream gates by placing a bean bag or different colored pylons at the gate. Now decide who gets to be the group timer. Arrange your team into a line to wait their turn. Each team should have a scooter board and paddle. If the gates have identical cones, then you can proceed directly through the gates. These gates are downstream gates. If the gates have a bean bag on one of the off-color cones, they are upstream gates, and you must go past the gate, turn back to go around the bean bag before going forward. The timer starts their canoeer. The canoeer sits on the scooter board and uses the paddle to move around the course. Once the first team gets to the third gate, the next team can start. Each team must time and record its own canoeer. Everyone should get two or three tries. Can you beat your time? Congratulations on being heroes of play and making physical activity a priority at your school. Whether you're playing a game of tag with friends or cheering on our athletes as they work towards their dream and competing at the Olympic Games, we all play for something bigger than ourselves. We all play for Canada. <laughs>